Hey YouTubers, Undertron 9000 here back with another video. Today, I'm going to be counting down the top 5 darkest Sonic songs. It's, well, exactly what it sounds like. Sonic songs, so dark, you can't even tell that uh, they're Sonic if uh, it didn't say Sonic right there. As usual, the listing won't be in order, because I just can't choose. But number one will, will uh, be the only one in order as the darkest one. And before number one, we will have a bunch of honorable mentions. Songs that are still kind of dark, but not dark enough to make it onto the list. Keep in mind that this is my opinion and my opinion only, and I only want to share it with you guys. What are the top five uh, darkest Sonic songs in uh, your opinion? Please tell me in the comments below. Anyways, enough said. Let's get into the list, starting with number five, being the ruined world of uh, the future from Sonic 06. Yeah, I know, Sonic 06. Bad game. Actually, it's not that bad. Don't hate me. But I think we can all agree that the game has a pretty damn good soundtrack. But anyways, The Ruined World of the Future is the first song you hear when starting up uh, Silver's story. It informs you that everything you've ever done in the world of Sonic is completely pointless because it'll all come to the same fate. A world that uh, is taken over by Iblis. Ruined cities and no green hills in sight. This song invokes hopelessness in the player if they are incredibly attached to the Sonic series. This is how it goes. Alright, moving on to number 4, we have the Game Over theme from Sonic CD. No, not that one. I'm talking about this one. This song is the sound of nightmares. Even a world controlled completely by Dr. Robotnik cannot be as dark as that. The situation that makes uh, this song the worst is when Sonic straight up throws himself off of the level, resulting in an instant game over, regardless of how many lives you have. Yeah, you heard me right. Sonic is suicidal. Anyways, moving on to number three, we have Mephilus's Whisper, and I cannot pronounce anything. This is another song from Silver's Story, so yeah, pretty much all of them are pretty messed up. To go perfectly with Mephilus's crazy, creepy personality, if you can call it that, we have to have a theme song that just signifies the mystery behind this character, right? Well, that's exactly what this song does, as well as give a sense of unease to the player. I swear, when I first uh, saw that scene, I was expecting a FNAF jump scare deal. Anyways, <clears throat> I almost forgot to play the song before I headed over to number two. Yeah, let's get on with that.
Yeah, I know. It kind of picks up in drama there, but the creepiest version is probably uh, when you hear it in in uh, near the start of Silver's story after the first boss. I just love that all hail shadow wood thing right there. I think it's called a light motif, leap motif, leap. Anyways, that song is creepy enough to make anyone say. Alright, I'm not sure if I said this already, but on to number two, we have the Methylis Boss Phase 2. This song takes everything creepy from Methylis' Whisper and just full force hits the player with a wave of terror. From the voices speaking in the tongue at the beginning to the ending, yeah... It is all terror. Here is the song. Sorry, that was one heck of a lo of a long song. Did I have that on pause? Hey, you know what that ending reminds me of? Anyways, before we move on to number one, let's make some time for some honorable mentions that just couldn't make the list. 
Here we have the boss theme from Sonic CD. The US version of the Sonic CD soundtrack is just messed up. What's with that burp near the end? Alright, next up we have the pure evil ending from Shadow the Hedgehog. Sorry, I don't know if I've said this, but up next we have Carnival Night Zone. While this song isn't exactly scary, it sure is kind of creepy in a way. I don't know how, but it just kind of is. Just the structure of the song is kind of unsettling. What doesn't really help is how in Sonic Dimensions, Lego Dimensions, whatever you want to call it, Omoch House states that there was uh, an ancient uh, that there was an ancient uh, race that lived in the Carnival Night Zone, and a bunch of spirits of an ancient race being in a Sonic stage that has unsettling music. Yeah, here is the song. Just gonna loop. Anyways, up next we have Throw It All Away, Shadow's theme from Sonic Adventure 2. This song is again kind of um hopeless and stuff. Just the name of it, Throw It All Away, it's like throwing away 
everything that's that used to matter to you. Like my old cringy 3DS uh, videos. song is a little long. I, I don't know how I sit through these. Anyways, the whole the whole useless to exist part is pretty dark by itself. So, yeah. Anyways, there was originally going to be one more honorable mention. It was going to be deeper from Sonic Adventure 2, but I just don't want to spend that much time just sitting around listening to music, trying to keep as quiet as possible, not even breathing. All for your sake. It's just written out. Anyway, for number one of the most dark Sonic song ever in Bad Grammar, we have. Almost Dead from Shadow the Hedgehog. Was it a little early to end the drum roll? Anyways, this song takes every negative emotion there is and mashes it together into one terrifying of a song. Sounds like it's straight from hell. <coughs> Sorry for the Jason Griffith right there. Anyways, here you have to face it. The entire cast of Sonic, besides Shadow of course, is dead. And it is all your fault. Didn't have to be like this. You made it like this. You killed every character that you have become so fond of over 25 years. Or at the point it was made about... About 14 years. Doesn't matter. Here is the song that takes the cake... For the number one darkest Sonic song ever. Are you ready? Here we go. No more gods, no more graves. Are you friend or fiend? No more lies, no more death. Somewhere in between. <laughs> Well, we're out. 
That song reminds me of zombies. Anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like or subscribe. All music, pretty much, I'm pretty sure, belongs to Sega, or at least, a, or if not, the last one belongs to Power Man 5000. I, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Pi uh, Power Man 5000? Could it be my long lost brother? No, wait, I don't have a brother. Anyways. Um, yeah, leave a like or subscribe, this is Undertron9000 signing out.